joining me in Bassmaster Fishing. We are in Sabine River doing some catfishing. We're going to work our way into some nighttime fishing. I've been fishing this little spot. Been having some great success with the flathead and the blue catfish. Not getting quite the size. I would like to get no trophies. So since I started over playing on PC now, I'm constantly increasing my PB on all fish species. So what I would like to do, come back to this spot at nighttime. I will show you a couple spots on the map where I do some nighttime fishing. Of course, there's many more. I'm only going to show you a couple of them in the video today. One of them, including the shipwreck on the east side of the map. So I did catch some nice flathead, some nice blue catfish. I even caught a couple of channel cats, which always seem to be kind of hard for me to catch. I think they're slower at biting than some of the other catfish. So I really am looking forward to catching some nice size blue catfish and a, hopefully a trophy flathead. Real shallow water right here and not very deep at all. Four, five, six feet. The fish tend to hang out right by some of these cypress knees in Sabine River. And I'm using the gill swim baits. Stay tuned to the inland video. I have a video where I show the loadout for the new loadout I made just for catfishing. So we'll show almost all that video at the end of this one so you know exactly what I'm using to catch these big old cats. Look at the lips on this guy, man. That's a nice flathead. So I don't go all the way back into this pond. I kind of get in the from where the main river is, I work my way into it and kind of go around almost to where the pond starts in the back. I usually don't fish all the way in the pond. So today I'm starting out with the natural dark blue gill, the one that has a little bit of purple into it. That's one of my favorite catfish and lures. So we'll catch blues and we'll catch some flatheads. Every now and then, like I said before, I'll catch a channel cat. If you have a secret bait to catch channel cats, drop a comment, let me know. So I would love to try it out. I'll give you a shout out in the video if it works for me. So here's another flathead. So we're getting a little bit bigger. Big old whiskers on this guy. 54 pounds, 4 ounces on the gill. A natural dark blue gill. So they pay quite well. So I'm getting 2000 something dollars bass bucks for one of these flatheads. So I do need the money. So I need to buy some gear. Let's see if we can catch another one and then we'll switch over to some nighttime catfishing. So I do like fishing at nighttime. The visibility is not that great so you can't see if you're using the underwater camera. If you're not using an underwater camera, that's fine, but don't get any mosquitoes fishing in a video game. So look at the whiskers, man. Imagine putting your hand inside this big old boy. 4,335 bass bucks. Natural dark blue gill. All right, so we're back in the same spot. We're going to do some nighttime fishing. So shallow water, not very deep. Already hooked up with a nice flathead. So there is so many fish in this little hot spot right here. 71 pounds, another PB. So we're working our way up. 6,400 bass bucks. That's enough to buy a new rod. All right, so let's head over to the shipwreck. Shipwreck is located on the east side of the Sabine River map. So there's multiple spots where you can see the shipwreck, probably because the ship probably broke apart. There's some kind of in the shallow water and some in a little bit deeper water. So I'm right on top of the shipwreck right now. So I have to go back and find it because I am, I am playing on PC, started a brand new game. So I don't have any waypoints to where these are, so I went and found the shipwreck, backed off of it a little bit. I did some casting with the Jinkolistic swim bait. There are some bass down there that will bite, so there's there's part of the shipwreck. The screen does kind of get jumpy when you get in there. So in the past, I did catch some nice flatheads and blues right on top of the shipwreck. And the water is dark, so it's kind of hard to see. I mean, I am fishing at nighttime, so. There's Mr. Flathead. Let's get him in the boat, see what he weighs. Nice color on him. They did a pretty good job on 
the color of these guys. So 57 pounds, three ounces. So I didn't fish very much at the shipwreck. Wasn't getting the size I wanted, so I went back to the starting point. So now this is one of my favorite colors of the flathead. So that is a nice flathead. 73 pounds, one ounce. So we still could do a little bit better. I'm looking for that big monster catfish. I want to get a legendary catfish in the boat. So that's why I've been fishing a lot in Sabine. It's always been one of my goals since to release these legendary catfish into the waters. So there's only one, so it's not like catching bass where you have multiple chances of catching a legendary fish. I love the color. Look at the whiskers on this guy. Man, that is a great looking catfish. I finally got a trophy. 81 pounds, 2 ounces, 9,254 bass bucks. Well, guys, let's take a look at the loadout I've been using. I made a video separately just to show you some of the basic rod and reels and lures I use for catfishing. That's the right bumper, our LB or RB. We're going to make a new loadout. So let's go ahead and add a first rod and we're going to have to name it. I'm going to make one, well I'll probably make two or three. I'd like to have one for St. Lawrence River just to fish all the big pike and muskie. i also like to have one for a catfish. So let's go ahead and call it catfish and confirm. So first of all I'm going to get a heavy rod. I want something that's heavy so I can fight these extra heavy extra fast so I already have one so yes switch the type favorite defender casting now the reels bait caster prayer and bass so I have two of these I have one in my tackle box so let's go ahead and add that one of course, I'm going to put the heaviest pound braid to have 50 pound Fitzgerald fishing. All right, so now we have that set. Oh, I didn't select it. 50 pound. All right. So we have our extra heavy defender casting rod, a reel. So now we're going to go with the Texas rig. Um. Let's start with the quarter ounce, five odd hook. So the, the gill, natural dark blue gill, that's probably one of my favorite baits for catfish. We also have the gill natural sunfish, which works very good, but I really like this one that has a little purple in it. So the natural dark blue gill. All right, we're gonna select it. So now we have our favorite bait, 50 pound braid, and an extra heavy casting rod. So that's gonna be pole number one. Let's try any bait casters that are heavy, extra fast. So let's go with this one. Select it, we're gonna have to switch to reel. See if I have any spare reels. One, 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 one. And we're also going to go with the Texas rig, quarter ounce, five odd. Five out is going to be the biggest hook. So a quarter ounce will be a really lightweight with a big hook. And of course, with catfishing, we're going to put 50 pound braid on there. And this time, we're going to go with the gill natural sunfish. So we got the gill natural sunfish, 50 pound braid, Texas rig, quarter ounce weight. So remember, guys, that's seven grams. You can see the grams on there. So I get a lot of questions from guys who don't fish in real life, but they love playing Bassmaster fishing game. 
So what is a five ot hook? So five forward slash zero, that's five ot. So five ot's gonna be the biggest hook to have in Bassmaster Fishing. So one ot smaller, but it's still bigger than a number one or number five. And what do I mean by that? So let's take a look at some of these. See, this one's number one. That is not the same as a one ot. So a, a one ot's gonna be bigger than all the numbers in the game the number one number two number five but a one out is smaller than a five out so for catfishing these 60 70 80 sometimes 90 and 100 pound blue catfish the five out hooks gonna be the biggest hook they have in the game so and that's why we're going with that we'll do one more just to get started but you kind of see the process so i'm looking for heavy rods Extra heavy fast. White bird casting. White gold. So I have two of these, so I don't have to buy another one. So let's get some more fishing line. 50 pound line on all these. Texas rig, quarter ounce, five odd. Alright, so this time I'm going to go with the natural bluegill. The gill, natural bluegill. There we go. So that's going to be on rod number three. So I have basically the same setup on every rod and reel combo with a different lure. So I'm never going to switch these lures off. Now if I'm fishing deep water, I'm just going to come over here, go to the Texas rigs, and find a 5 out with a half ounce half ounce three odd, half ounce five odd. So I can put a half ounce weight on there, same hook size. Now I'll be able to drop down faster in deeper water. If you're fishing really shallow, then go with the one eight ounce, 3.5 grams, five odd hook. So that'd be an easy way to switch out some. Basically I never change the bait on this lure. I'm sorry, the bait on the rod and reel stays the same. All I do is change the weight depending on how deep I'm fishing. And I'm going to go ahead and do this again for rod number four. And this time I want to select a different quarter ounce five out. We'll go with that. We'll put the 50 pound braid on it again. This time, I'm going to go with the Shad Purple Shad. But I need a spinning rod that's heavy. So medium, fast. Are there no spinning rods that are heavy? Nope, just medium heavy. This one will work. I'll go with that one. Medium heavy. This one's not being used. Nope, I need to purchase it. Yeah, might as well. I got plenty of bass works. So go with it. plenty of bass bucks, so we'll go with that. Alright, so now we have a good little combination for some catfish in. and of course. I always need to have a rod and reel set up and ready to go to do some bass fishing. I'm gonna go with the bait caster, medium heavy fast, heavy, extra heavy fast. Extra heavy, extra fast. Can't talk today. Yes, switch rod type, so nope, this is not what I wanted. Why does it always say medium heavy fast? But on here it says heavy extra fast. Favorite white, so it's not selected. What the hell?
favorite white bird casting. Yes, I want that one. Favorite white bird casting. Okay, it's on there. It's, that was very weird. 50 pound line. So I'm going to keep, even though most of use this for bass fishing, I'm going to keep the 50 pound braid on there. Why? Because catfish will bite the jinkolistic swamp bait. Especially the blue catfish. So remember, you have to have no weight or for this one bait to be available as an option. There we go. So that will give us five rods. So we have the Jinko Listix swim bait, my favorite bait in the game. Catches plenty of bass, all other species. Catch plenty of fish on St. Lawrence River. Catches blue catfish, occasionally catch a channel catfish. And then I have a few bluegills on here for catching a flathead and blue catfish. So that's about it guys so you can add as many rods as you want now let's go to something very important so we're going to go to venues now let's just say we're going to go fishing so loadouts you have to choose your loadout at this screen if not you cannot do it on the water so it's going to try to always i've been using the bassmaster default loadout so it's going to select that one so i need to select catfish then access the venue you can't switch it when you're on the water. Boat can only, <coughs> boat can only hold so many rods and reels. And I guess that's why I did it. So let's hit the X and you see there's my gill. It's on there. My catfish load out is ready to go. Guys, I hope you liked the video. I hope this helps out. Follow along in all the beginner series. If you're starting to fish some of the college series tournaments, check out some of the hot spots. I'm going to link them. In the description below on the video so you'll be able to check out the latest ones to see the hot spots as always thanks for watching really hope you enjoyed keep fishing stay happy and i'll see you next time